Welcome to the Spendwise Moms channel, your homemaking resource hub. We are living in a time of uncertainty. With the pandemic and now the war in Ukraine, it's so easy to worry about the future. I've noticed a lot of videos on YouTube initiating fear in people and encouraging them to panic by before it's too late. It's important not to let fear guide your decisions. Don't let others destroy your peace just because that's how they get your attention and make money. While there are a lot of things in this world that are uncertain, it's wise to make your decisions when you're level-headed and not out of emotion. There definitely is peace having extra things stored that you use regularly. If you run out of toothpaste and have an extra one in the bathroom drawer, you don't have to run out to the store to get one. If you had some extra toilet paper when COVID started, you didn't have to join the lines of panic buyers trying to get anything they could find at the last minute. You could feel peace, not panic. Inflation keeps rising and food prices are still going up. Some say there could be food shortages in the future. Some say the price of wheat will quadruple by the end of the year. So what does this mean for you? How can you maintain peace in our world when you may feel like you are losing control? Slow and steady wins the race. You remember the story of the tortoise and the hare. Even though the tortoise was slow, he ended up winning in the end. There are some things you can't do anything about, but you can control how you react to things and what you will do given the situation you're in. The best advice I could give is to set aside money each week or each month and slowly build up a food storage. Buy the things that you use regularly when they are a great price. If there isn't anything that is a good price that week, focus on the staples like flour, sugar, rice, etc. This is a terrible time to be in debt. If you can't afford to buy something with cash, you really can't afford to buy it, period. The only exception to this is a house, and you need to be wise about not buying more than you can afford here as well. Don't go into debt to buy extra food. Don't go into debt to go out to eat or buy gas. If you are in debt, now is a good time to make a plan to get yourself out of debt and stay out of debt. I have a friend who has paid off two houses in seven years. She has a job that pays her minimum wage. So how does she do it? She works very hard and she doesn't buy anything she doesn't absolutely need. I think she's amazing. Back to saving money on food. Be like the tortoise in the story and go slow and steady. Set aside a certain amount of money each week that you can afford and use that money to stock up on items. Buy them along with your regular groceries. It may not seem like much, but if I spend $5 a week on four bags of beans, I would have over 200 bags by the end of the year. As for what you should buy, that depends on what you eat and how much extra money you can spend. Don't stock up on something just because someone else tells you to buy it, regardless of the price, especially if you don't eat it. For example, I've learned to cook dry beans so they taste good. So for me, stocking up on some dry beans is a good idea. If I have an extra $5 around, I can buy four extra bags of beans one week. You might hate beans, but love mac and cheese, so stock up on mac and cheese if that's what you like to eat. You get the idea. Figure out what you normally buy, and that is what you should stock up on. It is wise to store extra food and household supplies. It can bring peace, especially in times of uncertainty. Do it wisely, though, a little at a time, and don't act out of fear. Thanks for watching the Spend Wise Moms channel. Please subscribe for more videos like this.